motherfuckers. Oh. Welcome to another edition of The Way of the Daniel. It is May 4th, 2021, 1015 p.m. 1015 p.m. Turn on some light for you there. And we got a fucking samurai sword tonight. It was hanging up right over there. Not only samurai sword, but it also looks like a little bit of a pirate sword. So a pirate samurai, which is pretty fucking awesome. If you have been following the way of the Daniel, or any of our captain's logs or interludes, shall we say. And it's about fucking time we came back. Things have been settling, settling back into the stuff we work on. For the first couple weeks, it was go, 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 craziness, can't think, coffee, adrenaline, overload. And now, it's back to the way of the Daniel. And today's topics, twofold. First, I'd like to motivate, which is what we do here in the way of the Daniel. We're all about some goddamn motivation. And we want to motivate toward trust and confidence, building trust and confidence in the small build to the fucking schedule. Trust and confidence in the small build to the schedule. And topic number two is strength. Strength of determination overpowering despair. Before we launch into motivating and talking about these topics, let's get a little into the astrological transits. Put the sword under the chest and we'll pull up the internet. Sun, we got at 14. Degrees Taurus. The moon is at one degree Pisces. Interestingly enough, I was recording this video earlier today when the moon was at 28, 28 degrees Aquarius, which is where Jupiter's at. So it's forming a conjunction with Jupiter. Not quite void. And I got about two and a half minutes into the video with this awesome fucking pirate samurai sword. And motherfucking roommates came back in the house. And there's my little brother. He just fucking came up the stairs because he wants to get cut. And now he's doing a goddamn dance. Dude, it's like it's like this. <laughs> so so can't uh, can't disregard that. And we got Mercury at one degree Gemini, crazy motherfuckers, of course. Venus twenty five degrees Taurus. Mars at 7 degrees Cancer. And again, Jupiter's at 28 degrees Aquarius. Still haven't been following the astrology too much because it's been a lot of go, 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 which is probably a lot of these Aquarian transits, not a lot of time for thought. But now... We do have time for thought because as related in a previous video, we lost one of our jobs. And so a little bit of panic set in and initially I was like, oh, I got to fucking get out there and do this DoorDash shit for like six hours a day, four or five days a week. And that just sounded like a recipe for fucking awful shit. 
And so yesterday kind of sucked with that. I think the afternoon also sucked because we were on day two of no coffee. And and this morning I was like, I don't even know if I want to fucking do it. But uh, then I was like, earlier I thought, well, let's let's just do a couple hours, 11 to 1, 11 to 1. And uh, around 9 o'clock I went to a diner and had some breakfast and had some coffee. So we were like, fuck it, I'm going to drink some fucking coffee. Because I shit you not, trying to quit coffee, you're going to go through these like depressive like symptoms. Which is why we fucking don't like coffee. Because it leaves you with these withdrawals there but it was much better today and after the two 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 fucking just two hours of driving DoorDash, then i went to the gym in the afternoon and then after the gym i took it easy and did some more writing and shit and so what what this is really coming to again what we are motivating toward is is a slow build into the schedule, easing ourselves into it. I don't need to just force, you don't need to force yourself to make these huge leaps and go do crazy shit. Maybe I'll eventually work up to six hours a day driving. Maybe not. Maybe I don't need that shit. There's plenty of options that just came out even tonight. And... And so the biggest thing, though, is that once again, we are back working into a schedule that that works for us and that is Taylor fucking Taylor fucking made Taylor made because I didn't even know what was the best time I'd go to the gym. But these afternoons gym scenarios, I think are going to work out pretty fucking fantastic and then even when i was in the gym today they were playing star wars episode two attack of the clones in my gym my gym has a movie theater and so really focusing the motivation towards slowly inserting stuff little bits at a time into the schedule to where you get more comfortable with these things and you can refine them and then they become more automatic and easy and shit like that so that's a good one that we're focusing on number two is again Strength of determination beginning to overpower despair. Usually despair comes and it overpowers me, especially when those caffeine withdrawals. But uh, I think this went in alignment with a while ago I was feeling the burn of rejection and instead of trying to get over it or you know change the focus of the mind to a different perspective instead of doing all that shit right away I was just like let's feel deeper into this shit like let's let's really get into what we're feeling and it's similar now well to this morning it was kind of cool that there was a little bit of despair going on, but instead of just purely despairing, it was uh, the determination, the little fight energy was coming up too, saying, "No, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking push, we're gonna push," and that was cool because it was. It was it was similar to that burn feeling, so so I think the two were really related. And I don't I don't nest. Here's the thing: I when I thought about making this video for today, is that I don't want to just motivate toward overpowering despair with this determination, this burning, this uh, 
strength of determination, this burning. What would be really cool is right now if we fan the flames of this strength of determination, not just for when we're despairing, because we like to fight preemptive strikes, preemptive strikes, not just wait for life to kick us in the ass, but we want to be fucking ready. Not only ready, but eventually we want to be able to go after. We want to go on the attack after life. We're not just preparing for life to kick us in the ass. It's good if you're prepared because it will. But we want to fucking go after it again. And so let's fan the flames of this strength of determination this this pushing let's let's remember it again and again whenever we might despair or just just not be feeling it maybe if in the mornings we're like tired and uh, shitty then we'll remember oh yeah this strength this burning strength of determination it's good to be back anyways. We got another couple seconds here before we get into our 12-minute red zone so we can still swing the sword around and yeah, um it does it does especially today with taking the necessary breaks and doing the training and maintenance of myself and my mind. It does feel like perhaps the work I had been doing prior to the move here is is coming back. It's coming back now. I'm getting settled, coming back to the work that I was enjoying, which includes the way of the Daniel. And this is Daniel signing off. May the fourth be with you from the west side.